Okay, so we're going to use what's called vanishing point. <clears throat> vanishing point is, um, again, vanishing point is used in many, many different ways in um, perspective. And um, we're going to take this picture and we're going to put that picture right here on this wall, angled in perspective. Now, when you use vanishing point, um, the one thing about vanishing point is whatever element you're going to add to the wall, you have the very first thing you have to do is you have to put that element on your Photoshop clipboard. Now, most people don't realize that you actually have a clipboard behind the scenes in Photoshop, but you actually do. And vanishing point needs to have that element already on the clipboard before you enter into vanishing point. Because once you enter vanishing point, it doesn't allow you to, to jump out and grab the thing and put it on the clipboard and then come back in. I mean, you could, but you are exiting vanishing point. So my workflow that I teach is take whatever you're gonna stick on the wall or whatever element you're gonna put out, you know, a logo on a bag or a picture on a wall or a logo on some stairs or whatever your, whatever element that you're actually transforming into perspective, take that element and get it on the clipboard first because once you get into the vanishing point you're going to paste that into your picture and then drag it onto your vanishing point grid so here's our picture and the easiest way to get that onto the clipboard is obviously you need to select it and when you have something like this that's on a blank background if you just hold your control key down and clip on and click on the layer up here, it will automatically select the element for you. And then I'm just gonna hold the same old keys that you do for everything, copy and paste, just about in the entire computer world, right? Control C or Command C, Control C. And I have copied that to the clipboard. Now, you can't see the clipboard, just know that you did it. And now you can you can release that thing and you can turn it off because it's on the clipboard. Now we're gonna go back to our image that we're gonna go into vanishing point with. So vanishing point is over here. And this is the one thing that vanishing point is listed under filters, but it's really not a filter. Um, so we're going to go into vanishing point. It's a whole kind of a whole application in itself. Um, I've already been playing with this grid. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this grid and show you how to build one. So I'm going to click on it and backspace gets rid of that grid. So on your vanishing point, you have some tools over here. It defaults to the grid tool, which is this little mesh thing right here. And what you need to do is you have to build a four point grid around the area where you want to put that piece of art. So the easiest thing to do is to just drag out a grid somewhere, like start a point and then drag to another one and then drag up and drag over. So we've got this grid and if your grid is blue, you're golden. If your grid turns out to be yellow, Photoshop is saying, uh-uh-uh-uh, you did something wrong, I don't like yellow. And if it's red, just start over or just start pulling these little points around. Like, see, there's red. It won't even give you a, a grid if it's red. Um, if it's blue, it, you can use it. You just got to make sure that it's kind of what you want. So you don't have to fill the whole thing in right away. You can actually pull these, pull these handles um, after you build the grid, you can actually pull these handles up and down, but we only need this area right in here. So this grid is adequate. If you want to have the grid size bigger, in other words, more or fewer boxes, you can slide this little slide around here. 
Um, we're probably good with that many boxes. I mean, who cares? We're gonna put a big picture there. So we're, we're pretty good. So now we have the grid, right? We're gonna put we're gonna put this picture somewhere inside this plane of reference, our grid. With the grid active like this, now we gotta go over here and, and just visualize that 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 picture sitting out there on the clipboard, and we're gonna do the old-fashioned control V for paste. And we pasted that picture from the clipboard into our image. Now that's way too big, right? So if you come over to this tool right here and click on this, this one, two, three, four, fifth tool down, you'll get the handles and you can actually size it down a little bit. And now just put your mouse on it and drag it into the grid. Voila, once you're in that grid, Photoshop does all the work for you. It says, oh, you're, you want that thing in the grid, in the perspective that you've already defined by that grid. So if that's how big you want it, maybe you want a big picture on that wall, you can go ahead and size it. And when you're done, just check OK. And there you are. You've got a beautiful picture in perspective on the wall. Is that cool? And now you can go ahead and and you you're there. You could, you know, throw a drop shadow on there or do whatever you, additional things that you want. Now, the one thing I should have done that I didn't do, shame on me, I should have been on a separate layer. So um, let's undo that and let's go back up here and let's let's see if it's still there. I was supposed to be on a separate layer because otherwise I can't put a drop shadow on there. So let's go back to the filter. My grid's still going to be there. Okay, the grid's still there. Let's see if it's still on the clipboard. It is. So we can come down here to the tool. We can drag it. Now you see I'm over here on this blank layer. This is where I should be, is on a blank layer. Now I can drag this baby in there size it the way I want it. Hit OK. Now I can go in here to my FX. I can put a drop shadow on here because I'm on a separate layer. If I did, if I put that right on my background, I couldn't put a drop shadow on here, right? So I need to be able to put a drop shadow on there. So there we go. Now we have a little drop shadow on there. And that looks a lot better. Looks a, little, a lot real, more real, right? We threw a little drop shadow on there. Okay? More better. Separate layer. All right. So you got to see it twice. All right. So that's vanishing point. Putting an element on a wall. We have we have loads of vanishing point examples throughout our throughout our classes. Okay. Don't need to save that.